What's up guys, it's Chris here. In today's video, we're gonna go over exactly how to buy your first NFT on Immutable X. This might seem obvious to a lot of you guys watching this video that are already involved with the crypto or NFT space, but I have people asking me daily on how they set up a MetaMask wallet, how they connect it to Immutable or OpenSea, and how to use it so they can buy their first NFT. So I'm gonna try to make today's video cater toward those that are just getting into it, try to make it as simple and as broken down as possible so that you can buy your very first NFT today. I make new NFT and crypto videos every single Monday and Wednesday, so if that's the type of content you would like to see, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button down below for the YouTube algorithms. I also want to note before diving into this, I genuinely believe that Immutable X is going to blow up in the next few months, and if not that, then definitely in 2022. So if you're watching this video soon after I posted it, it might be in your best interest just to learn how to do this process, just in case. Alright, so let's get right into it. First and foremost, I'd like to go over some safety and security precautions that you can take. I personally use a separate browser for my MetaMask than I do anything else. Uh, and that's just so that if I do click on a risky link or something like that, it's through a, an entire separate browser. It's not through the same browser. So the browser I'm showing you right now is actually Brave Browser. Uh, you can use Google Chrome. You can use whatever you want. Uh, you can not take any of those precautions at all. I'm just super careful with everything that I do. You're going to go to the Chrome Web Store and you're going to search MetaMask. You'll see some options below. Make sure, obviously, to click the correct one. I went with the one with the most reviews and went ahead and installed it. Once you install it, it's going to pop up here at the top right as an extension, and you'll see MetaMask right here at the top right. I'm not going to walk you all the way through setting up a MetaMask wallet. However, I'm going to give you some vital information. Once you click on the MetaMask wallet, it's going to kind of prompt you through a few things. The most vital thing I can possibly tell you is that one of the steps is going to show you a seed phrase. This seed phrase is essential to you being able to unlock your wallet. You want to keep up with it because if you ever lose it, you'll never be able to get into that wallet again. At the same time, you want to make sure nobody else ever gets access to that seed phrase. So do not take a picture of it. Do not put it on a notes file on your computer. Make sure you have it in the safest location possible. I'm old fashioned. I wrote mine down, put it at a specific location in a certain safe and just to make sure I know where it's at and it's safe. There's other ways to do it. There are certain programs online that allow you to safely lock up your seed phrase there. Um, some people use metal or cardboard, whatever method you feel is safe. But again, do not take a picture, do not screenshot, do not type it in on your notes or your browser and never, ever, ever share the seed phrase with anyone. I don't care if they're DMing you and they look so real, uh, they're not. If, if they ask for your seed phrase, they're not real. Nobody will ever need your seed phrase. Never share that with anybody. I hope I hammer that down enough. I know it sounds annoying. You will thank me later if you are new to crypto. So after you set up your MetaMask wallet on your extension, it should look like this. After that, the only thing you have to do before buying your first NFT is to get ETH or Ethereum inside of that wallet. To do this, uh, the easiest way, it might cost you some fees and I'll leave my referrals down below if you don't have either one of these, but you know, just use Coinbase or Voyager, or if you are already familiar with crypto, then whatever exchange that you use, buy some Ethereum and send it over to your wallet. In order to do this, you'll basically find the way to, to send crypto on said platform, and when you're receiving it, you'll use this address, you'll copy this address, and you'll send it to yourself. Make sure, you know, of course, the address is correct. You can buy Ethereum directly from here. You know, it would prompt you to do that. I don't personally do these. A lot of times they get blocked by my bank. Uh, they have really high fees. I just, I personally don't do them. If you want to do that, go that route. You can go that route. That's fine. I'm the, For the sake of this video, the main thing I want you to know is you need Ethereum in this wallet, uh, of course, in order to import it into Immutable X to go through the next steps of being able to buy your first NFT on Immutable. So now you're here. You have your MetaMask wallet installed. You're ready to go. All you have to do is go to Immutable and go to the marketplace. You'll see at the top right corner where it says connect wallet. Go ahead and click that. You'll get this prompt that'll say connect your Ethereum wallet, sign in, set up your immutable key. Obviously, when we're this far in the video, I want you to know, make sure you're on the correct Immutable X website. There is replica websites out there to scam you, to connect your wallet so that they can steal your seed phrase and take your money. So just make sure that you're on the right platform. Uh, you're going to go ahead and connect your wallet. It's going to ask you to, for verification. Uh, so you can see right here, this is my account that I showed up here. Uh, and you just want to go ahead and hit next. You want to connect this account. They're going to ask you again. Yes, connect. Connecting. Waiting for a signature request. So it's going to ask you to sign. I'm going to go ahead and sign right here. 
Um, only sign this request if you've initiated on action with Immutable X. Yes, I have. And then it's finished. Wallet is connected. So even though it says, yeah, so up here instead of saying connect wallet, it says disconnect wallet. Now I am just about ready to buy my first NFT because I have my wallet connected. There's actually several ways to do this next step. Uh, you, if you watch my other videos, you know that I use Token Trove as well. You can do it directly through Token Trove or you can do it directly through Immutable X if you're already here. You can go to your inventory and at the top right, you'll see a deposit option. Yeah, you, I, you, I'm flexing on all my ETH that I have right here. So I'll go ahead and hit deposit and you can deposit whatever you want, whether it be ETH, GODS, IMX, or USDC. So you're going to deposit the ETH, you enter the amount of ETH that you would like to deposit. So I'm not going to deposit any right now, but I'm going to show you for like, just to show you how it would look. So if I wanted to deposit 0 0.01, it is going to cost a fee to get the Ethereum inside of Immutable. And I think it's higher right now. I am a little scared to sign this just in case it's going to go through, but I still think it's going to give me some type of verification. Please confirm your deposit. So I'm actually not going to confirm this just in case, but it would show a small fee for depositing your Ethereum into Immutable. All right, so here it is. You're finally ready to buy the NFT. All you do is simply go to the project that you've been watching for a while and that you like. You click on it. You find the one that you want. And the beauty of Immutable X and why I think that it's going to explode in the near future is if it says, say, 0.26 ETH or 2.68912, you really only need like two or 0.27 ETH to, for that transaction. If you're familiar with OpenSea or even if you're not, you usually need like 0 0.02, 0 0.03 extra Ethereum at least in order to complete that transaction because of the gas fees, which is equivalent to, you know, maybe around one to $200. Whereas Immutable, once the, your Ethereum is inside of Immutable, the transactions are very minuscule fees. And uh, again, that's why I think the future, this has a very bright future. I hope this video has served as a good guide to setting up a MetaMask wallet and being able to purchase an NFT off of IMX. I know a lot of people are on VV right now and VV is actually migrating to Immutable X. So if your only experience is VV, hopefully this helps you in getting the edge on Immutable X. I really do believe that when VV transfers, you're going to have the edge if you already know how to do some of this stuff and you're already set up. Right now, Immutable X has anywhere between seven to 10,000 active wallets, which isn't a lot at all. I'm expecting a large growth in that over the next coming months and hopefully you can be one of the first ones on here as always nothing in this video is financial advice i'm just providing information for you to make your own decisions thank you guys so much for your constant support of my channel it really means a lot to me and i'll catch you next time peace out